All right, so in here, what we want to do is to be able to see who liked which post. So let's go to our friend's uh, profile here, okay? So once we are on this profile, or we can simply uh, go back to our profile, we can easily do it there. Let me hit uh, the like button here. And there we go, we've liked our post, which is uh, in here, let me see. So we have three posts that have been liked, which is good. Now we want to see something here written, one person liked this post. So to change this location, we are changing the uh, user dot, actually it's a post dot PHP, the one outside, not the class. All right, so here after everything, after the edit, delete, uh, we go down here. So this is where the edit, delete is. So let's go down here and we're going to add something uh, up here. So we're going to ask the question first and say if, okay, if the number of likes is more than zero, then this is the only time we are supposed to show this. So I'm going to say, I've copied that and let's check the number of likes. So if likes is greater than zero, and then we're in business, all right? So once it's that, let me echo something and say, mm, likes, number of likes, let me put that here, that number, concatenate, and then we're going to say people, okay, people liked this post, something like that, okay? And, but before this, let's add a break tag so that uh, it's not on the same line. Uh, I could easily add the break tag at the top here with another echo statement, just for us to be, for it to be cleaner. And let's see how that looks like. So it's down here, one people like this post, but uh, that's not very good grammar. But before we do with that, let's move it over to the other side. So in order for us to do that, let's put it inside a, a spun, for example. So we're going to use a spun like so, and then the closing spun here. Now, the reason I'm using a spun instead of a div is because a spun has the display of inline, which means it acts like text and unlike a div, that uh, that will cover the entire line so it won't take the space of the whole line if you use a span so i want it to float to the left okay so let's float left and there we go so we have a syntax error on line 107 something i missed i'm sure okay all right so we have to concatenate here add a dot Okay, and there we have it. So still we are having uh, trouble floating it to the left. Okay, so maybe in order to, I don't know really what's going on here, why this is doing that, but let me use a div instead, something I didn't want to do. And then let me just say text align, text align left which is probably the default, but let's just add it there. And still we are having issues. Okay, so maybe I am missing something. Oh yeah, that's because I've put it inside this other span over here. Hmm. Okay, so in order to sort this problem out, let me cut this out here and let's put it inside the div instead. So we're going to create our own PHP tags down here and close them. Mm -hmm. Ah, this should solve the problem now. There we go. So one people like this post, but not very good grammar. So we have to be able to know whether there's more than one or there's one, because it's only different when there's one. So what we will do is ask another if statement. So let's duplicate these two, like so. Shift, uh, control shift D or shift or control D on some systems. So I'm going to say if row likes 
let me copy that again if that is equal to one if it's just a one then we don't need to uh, we can do an else statement here like so and then move this over into that else statement and use the tab key to move it over so if it's equal to one then we are going to say person so one person liked this post hmm. so let's check it out one person liked this post eh, which is good so let's make sure that it's actually working so let me log out and log in as somebody else and then we can like a different post there we go very good so this is one person like this post but if i like do i actually oh yeah i actually like this one so we have two likes there and then you see two people liked this post very good on the other one there is one person but we have to be able to know if i liked i'm part of these people that like this post so i don't hit this twice just to confirm okay so we can say something like you and two people liked this post hmm? okay so then we need another if statement here so now we need a way to know if i liked this particular post now that is not a difficult thing to do because here we already have a formula in our post.php classes where we can tell if somebody actually uh, if i am part of the people that like this post so starting from here where we get the likes from a particular table and then we read the result if there's something there uh we go through all this up to this point so once we ask this question if this is true then it means uh, i did indeed like this post so let's copy all this up to this point so just so you can see it more clearly we are we are copying all this so let me copy that and come back to the post dot php mm -hmm. So we will confirm whether I like this post at this point here. So let me add a tab key and paste all that data down here as we go through it. Now remember there's an open bracket here, so I need to close it here. And then instead of negating this, we are simply going to remove the exclamation point because we want to check if we are actually in there. Okay. And then this also needs to be closed. So let's duplicate this one and put it over there. And so we have that there, that there, so that we don't have an error, a syntax error. So hopefully DB is actually active at this point and we don't have to create a new DB here. But if we have to, we will. So we can simply test that by refreshing the page and see that there are no errors. But unfortunately, there is an identified uh, variable DB. So we might as well copy that part at the top and put it there as well very nice okay so we instantiate the class and then we use it to read from the database okay now the content ID in this case uh, is our post so instead of putting ID over here it will be unidentified so what we want to use is the row and the post ID post ID like so Mm -hmm. Now, if you notice, I haven't put the uh, commas like I put in here. That's because this is inside these uh, double quotes. And so it will read better like that. Okay. Very good. So let's just confirm that there are no errors here. Mm, we still have an error. So my book user ID. So that one, our user ID does not exist here. So which is this one here. So this is inside the session, right? Mm -hmm. Like this. But on this one, since it's not in the double quotes, we have to put those single quotes in there. 
Now, there will be times when people who are not logged in will want to read some of these posts, right? So which means this session ID will not be set. So we have, before we actually check for this, we have to make sure that this is actually set, okay? So we should not do any of this if this isn't set at all. Okay, so what we're going to say at the top here is if is set, which means we are, are we logged in or not? If is set, that one, open close, then we do all this. So I'm going to copy that bottom uh, parentheses down here and then we're going to tab in like so. So only when this is set do we do this, okay? So let's confirm that there are no errors and voila, no errors. So now if we end up here, it means I liked. So what we're going to do is create a variable at the top here and say saying I underscore liked. You can name it anything. So I liked is equal to false. So let's begin with a negative. So we say false. But if we get here, we're going to change that to true. I liked is equal to true. Because if my ID is in there, then I liked it. So let's get the I liked here and use it down here. So what we will say. Now, the reason we start by putting it out here, in fact, this is the wrong thing to do. I should put it at the top here so that even though somebody is not logged in, I liked will be active. Because if I put it in here and somebody is not logged in, then it won't be set to false. So I should put it at the top here like so and then only change it to true if this is true so when we come down here and we're going to say if this is equal to one mm -hmm. there we go and so we want a way to okay what we would do is simply duplicate these two just to simplify things like so and then we'll ask the question, if I liked, like so, it's that simple. And then open close. And then we have our else statement. Let me cancel that and tap that thing. Else, boom, like so. Okay, so if I did like this indeed, what will happen is I have to put a statement here and say you and this many people now if there's one like so let's say there's one like at this point we are assuming there's one like because this is where we've gone in so if there's one like and you are one of those likes then it definitely means there are no other people that have liked it's just you so at this point we're just going to say you and we'll remove the number of liked likes like this we're going to just say you liked this post Simple and straightforward. Mm. And then down here, if I didn't like, then someone did like this post. So it's going to read one person liked this post. Now remember that the like, the number of likes is equal to one. We know this for sure. So we don't even need to put this row uh, likes because we know it contains a one. So simply, we're going to remove it for simplicity and just say one person liked this post. Hmm. We go down here and we're going to duplicate this and do exactly the same thing. So let me tab this in like so and bring an if statement over here and I'm going to say uh, same thing here. We're going to see if I liked, right? Like so. If I liked, let me put the parentheses uh, like so and an else statement here like that uh -huh. so if i liked we repeat ourselves and we're going to say you and okay and whatever number of people now imagine there are two likes in here so it means if one of them is me then the, the other remaining one is supposed to be the other one but since this contains two, it means every time we add you here, we are subtracting one from there. 
So at this point, we're going to do some arithmetic and say minus one. And let's put it in brackets so that it evaluates that before it echoes everything out. So row likes minus one, like so, which we're probably going to repeat on the second part here. Oh, no, we are going to, we're not going to do that because we're asking if I liked, then you and, or if I didn't, we leave it as it is. So too much jibba jabba, but let's see if it actually works. So let me refresh. And you see, you and one people like this post. Not very good grammar. So let's go back here. Hmm. So this has become a little bit complex because now if I subtract this and it becomes one, then we have a problem. It means it's no longer uh, Uh, it's no longer people or person. So what we would say instead, we'll, instead of people, we're going to change this to other, just for the sake of uh, some better grammar. So we're going to say, you and one other liked this post. Mm, sounds better. And down here, it's going to be one person liked this post. Okay, so let's go to a different uh, profile which is this one, and see what we read over there. One person liked this post. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this is an issue again. Uh, we haven't escaped anything here because if, let's say there are 10 other people, it will read you and 10 other liked this post, which, uh, which is uh, defeating our purposes. So what we could do is, let's ask uh, a question here. Let me copy that uh, up here, okay? So more if statements. So I'm going to say if and paste that. If that minus one, oh, sorry, I didn't finish the expression. If that minus one is equal to one, right? If whatever number is in here, minus one becomes equal to one, then um, others here should be plural. Okay. So we can have a uh, variable at the top here, which says um, pronoun. I don't know if it's a pronoun or let's just call it text. For simplicity's sake, you can call it anything. So text is equal to other originally. And then we are going to change it and say text is equal to others. Oh, actually, if it equals one, that's when it's other, but the default is others. And then we can get the same text and put it here in place of other. So I could put it here like so and concatenate and remove this part. But I need a space between the number and this one. So I'm going to add a space like so. So it becomes something like that. But also because these are double quotes, uh, I could easily just move this out like so and it will still evaluate like so, okay? Because these are double quotes, so it will evaluate like that. All right, so let's see. Um... Oh, wait a second. You and one others or other, okay. All right, so this seems uh, pretty good so far. Okay, so, so far so good. We have our sentences down here. Let's go back to our profile and see it better there, where we have you and one, one other liked this post. Very good. Now, what we want to do uh, in the next video is when we click here, we see who actually did like your post, which is a very simple thing to do. And I'm going to show you how. So I'll see you in the